Uranus is a world of mystery. It is one of the least explored planets in our solar system due to its remarkable distance from us. Out of all the planets, only Neptune is further away. In 1986, the Voyager 2 spacecraft whizzed by and found out some very interesting information about the planet that wasn't known before. But out of all its unusual characteristics that set it apart from any other planet, its axle tilt is perhaps the most peculiar. To find out the reason for Uranus's weird axle tilt, I visited Michael Brightmore, president of the Gleethorpe's Astronomical Society. Well, if I can just demonstrate, sure. using this little prop, when the solar system was formed, it was formed from this great big disk of dust and gas. So everything in the solar system, when, when this dust and gas solidified into the rocky planets and the gas giants and the ice giants, everything was perpendicular to the plane that the planets eventually orbited in. So Uranus would have started out like this, you know, as did the Earth and all the other planets. But at some stage in the distant past, and probably early after, soon after its formation, something hit Uranus, and from going like that, it ended up with an axial tilt of about 98 degrees. So it's now revolving like that. And of course it's often described as, as rolling around the Sun, and that's what it does all the way around the Sun. The Earth doesn't have quite so pronounced an axial tilt, it's just 23 and a half degrees. So the Earth is going round like that, whereas Uranus is, is just over 90 degrees and it's actually rotating about its axis in that way. You know, this is very unusual and it leads to, you know, a lot of considerations about its weather. The Earth's seasons and weather are all based on, on our axial tilt. You know, sometimes the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. That's our summer in the Northern Hemisphere and the winter in the Southern Hemisphere. You know, and as it goes round, we go past the equinox, where it's neither tilted towards or away from the Sun. And then back round the Sun to winter, where the Northern Hemisphere is away from the Sun. That's our Northern Hemisphere winter and the Southern Hemisphere winter. But it makes you wonder what on earth the weather would be like on Uranus that's tilted with often its, its axis pointing towards the Sun. It takes 84 years for Uranus to actually orbit all the way around the Sun and back, whereas the Earth does that in just one year. So, for a lot of that orbit, its axis and its north pole is pointing directly towards the Sun. And the equatorial regions are getting very little Sun. Now that's interesting because it was in that position when Voyager 2 actually flew past it. It had got its southern axis pointing directly towards the sun. And what Voyager 2 didn't see, which it expected, was a lot of weather patterns on the surface. You know, as we see all the time with Jupiter, we see these lovely bands and vortexes and the great red spot. But Uranus at that time in 1986 was quite blind. You know, there was no cloud structures. It wasn't realised at the time that that was a phenomena of this position in the sky. Later on, as it got a quarter of the way around its orbit, you know, in about 2007, the Hubble Space Telescope was looking at it and a lot more weather features started to appear. So, you know, depending on where it is in its orbit, dictates the sort of weather patterns and it does have weather. I mean, it has winds of up to 800 miles an hour. They're largely hidden by the, by the atmosphere, but using different wavelengths, such as infrared, you know, we are able to see these now. But unfortunately, Voyager 2 didn't get much of a look at them. So that's the axial tilt of, of Uranus. It's almost on its side, and it's like rolling around the sun in its 84-year orbit. Since Voyager 2, we haven't been back to Uranus. But if there will be future missions, hopefully we'll get more information on why Uranus is the way it is. There are a lot more unanswered questions about Uranus that we haven't got into today, and hopefully as we learn more, it won't only be the planet that is known for being the butt of jokes. <laughs>